finally on my way to work. Second last day, tomorrow is a half day, and then I get to go home, and I'm so excited. So I'll catch up with you guys later. Candles are lit, lights are on, and now I'm waiting for my Sephora package to come through FedEx. Hoping it comes soon. I think it normally comes around this time, so fingers crossed. It's supposed to come today. I leave tomorrow, so I've done everything for school, for work. I have a half day tomorrow. I have a job interview tomorrow, um, and then I'm going to surprise my family, and I'm driving back to St. John, New Brunswick. So tomorrow is going to be a busy, hectic day, but I'm going to be home, which is like so weird to me. I mean, this is home too, but you know what I mean? So yeah, I have to pack, do laundry so I can pack more and wrap gifts, uh, get the car ready to be loaded in the morning to pick up my friend at 8.15, so I have to leave here around 8 a.m. And yeah, it's going to be a busy day, but it's going to be exciting and I'm ready to get into the Christmas spirit here and um pack everything wrap everything and i need to find my wallet so let's get this started wallet and I was so scared I lost it forever. I really need this to drive tomorrow. <laughs> Could this be FedEx? Discount shippers? I hope so. This would be perfect. Please let it be FedEx. Tip -tip -tip. Hi there. Welcome. Hi, Dick. There you go. Thank you so right. much. You're welcome. Have a good night. Yes! Sephora order is here! Ignore my address! I actually leave tomorrow so I'm so excited for this. I've never ordered anything online from Sephora. I normally order directly from Urban Decay. Um, I also used to only really shop at Ulta. But that's definitely changed since I no longer live near America and uh in the past year or so i finally started shopping at sephora again because i haven't shopped there for a very long time but i've had pretty good experiences recently oh there's my bill r.i.p can i just say good job on packaging with sephora <laughs> i don't know what i'm going to do because I was very nervous. Oh my gosh. This palette is way more beautiful than I ever could have imagined. It's like coppery rose gold. Just the packaging. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh yes, honey. I'm obsessed with this. Oh, the colors are absolutely beautiful. I have ordered so many palettes this past month. Um, it's insane. I got the uh, Too Faced Gingerbread Palette, the Naked Petite Heat Eyeshadow Palette, um, and then I ordered the Sultry Palette. And I think I might order the Huda Beauty Palette, and I feel like I got another one too, and I'm forgetting it. Oh, I got the Anastasia Glow Kid in Sugar love it so i've never owned an anastasia palette i have the brow uh like eyeshadow palette i have the brow uh dip and i have the highlighting palette but now i have this and i'm taking this on my new year's eve trip to montreal these colors are so 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 beautiful 
I might even play with them tomorrow. I'm not going to lie. So I got the Sultry palette. I'm so excited. I wrote, I have been getting into makeup again. Not that you can tell right now. Uh, my face is also breaking out. Stress of exams and working. Um, but I'm so, so excited to get more into makeup. I feel like I've missed so much and I'm finally getting back into it. The beauty community has definitely changed since I have been in it. So, yeah. And then I also got a palette for my friend, Erin. Well, she paid for it. We just used my account because I had free shipping. And then my friend Caitlin also got one too. As you can tell, we're very obsessed with these eyeshadow palettes. And um, I also uh, ordered these for Caitlin too. They are, it's like this little cute owl makeup sponge thing. They're a little smaller than I thought, I'm not gonna lie. But um, overall, they're pretty cute. And I also, it kind of fell out of it. I just got the little mini sample of the Tori Birch perfume. Um, I wonder what this smells like. Um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of perfumes smell the same. I like this one. It, may, it reminds me of like walking through like rich people, um, if that makes sense. And then I also, I thought this would be different. But I got a very little tiny package of the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I love this primer and I think I'm going to have to buy a full size one. I'm sorry I also never make eye contact with the camera. I don't know why I do that. But yeah, so I got that. Got the girls their stuff. I got my stuff. I'm so, so freaking happy. Um, did I show you what Erin got me last night? We exchanged gifts, so she got me this beautiful Steve Madden crossbody bag. I got her the same one in pink. Next time I see the pink one, I'm going to get it for myself. They also have a nude one. Love the shape. I needed a tiny uh, purse, especially for my Montreal trip. Although, I guess I don't really need other colors because I'm trying to downsize. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to play with this. So I kind of wanted to talk about something and just because it's been on my mind recently. Um, I graduate in May and I really don't have any plans for once in my life. I have no idea what I want to do. I have like aspirations but now like not that I'm second guessing them but I kind of am. And then I have what other people think I'd be good at. But I have spent the last four years working my ass off, like paying for me to live away from home and go to school, even though I still have debt. And I mean, like, obviously, like, I just, well, I got this $15 off, so I got this for $44. But, like, obviously, I just spent, like, $44 on a makeup palette. So, like, I haven't been that great at saving money. I also bought a car, which was very expensive. <laughs> and I've taken a couple trips. Um, but it's kind of made me realize like what I want in life uh in a way but I really wanted to settle down here and buy a house I thought that was going to be perfect um but now I don't think I'm ready to settle down here I want to move away from here like my college town which is really shocking to me but I just don't know what I want to do I really want to move to Toronto but that's pricey and I don't know how much I'll have saved for it so I was kind of thinking of making my mom's house my home base like trying to sell off as much stuff as i can here like i have lived like on my own like if you could like look at just the random christmas stuff i have right like or this is kind of messy but like that too don't mind my laundry like my bar cart ignore the alcohol um but like i have so much stuff so i want to try to sell off some of it but obviously like, i kind of want to keep a lot of the Christmas decorations because they're meaningful and one day when I do I like settle and have my own house like I want it but there's a lot of Ikea furniture I bought thinking that this would be my forever home even though like I hope to have other furniture besides Ikea furniture not hanging on Ikea um and like I bought like a bed like I made commitments I spent like three thousand dollars like furnishing this place and now like I want to move so like I want to sell so much off oh, I'm gonna have to sell a lot one to get money <laughs> and then two like I just don't want to keep this with me and I have so many clothes and you really don't realize how much you hoard things like I've moved five times in the past four years 
and um, every time I move I'm like oh, I'm never gonna move again but I keep doing it and I remember when I was in high school and even like my first year of university I was like I'm not gonna settle like I want to take six months to a year contracts and constantly move so I can experience new things and I've been in the same place for four years I have lived in five different places but as much as like I wish I still had that like aspiration and motivation to do that I'm not sure I think I want to travel but I don't know how attached I want to get it's really hard and like I am only 21 but like mentally I definitely feel like I'm at least 31 um, and I've had this conversation with people before too, like people mature at different rates. I had to grow up so fast, like even before like I moved out on my own, like my parents were divorced and I feel like divorced kids, like you grow up a lot faster than other kids your age. And um, my grandmother who was like basically my mom um, ended up getting cancer and I had to grow up so fast when that happened and then when she died, I, I wow. That was the hardest part of my life and I had to grow up again. So moving out, it was just weird because I already knew how to take care of myself and do all this stuff, but I like genuinely was on my own. And then all of a sudden I had to pay for all the bills myself. So then I grew up that fast and realized the value of money. But I also feel like because I grew up so quick by losing a very close loved one and by being financially responsible, like a lot of guys my age just aren't like me and it's fine but I live on my own like I want someone career driven like I could step into a career right now I just don't know which one I want I'm about to get my degree I have so much experience so I feel like the next step for me is to make a move I just don't know how many more moves I want to make and quite honestly with you I'm just exhausted of moving like I, this definitely is one of my favorite places I've lived in. I have my own washer and dryer, my own kitchen. I only have one roommate. Last year there was four of us, but more like ten of us living in one place together. And um, it's a lot. So I really just kind of want to start settling down. But it's just hard because that means I have to move again. And I got so used to being here. And again, I'm so young. But like again, mentally I feel like I'm 31. And, uh, yeah, I don't know where this rant was going, but it's rough. And it's rough to find a guy, too, like, because I feel so far advanced in my life. So guys my age aren't really up to par with this. And then older guys don't want to date, like, a younger girl. And then I don't want to date someone, like, super, super old either. It's just rough. And, like... I know there's other people that probably feel like this too, but it's just hard. Like, my friends too, like, some of them get it, but no one gets all of it. Like, some of them get the having to, like, work young, and but then, again, I'm kind of the only one that pays for all of my bills. Like, I pay for rent, I pay for my car, pay for insurance, like, I pay to get these nails done, like, I pay groceries, I pay everything, right? Internet, like, I pay for all my own bills. And, like, they don't necessarily have to do that. And then moving so far away, too, and being on your own. Like, not many of my friends moved that far away from home and had to start over from scratch. And I think that's what scares me from starting over from scratch is it's exhausting. And moving is exhausting. And I need to declutter. And I ha am a hoarder. Like, I have OCD. I've definitely gotten a lot better with it. But it's just, like, yeah. And I don't even know if this is going to make it into the vlog or how many parts of it is, but I apologize. So, thanks for listening to my rant. If anyone else is in the same situation, let me know. I really want to move to Toronto because it's Canadian and um, I'm Canadian, so it would be a pretty simple move. Just like price-wise, not really. I've always wanted to live in New York, but again, that's expensive. I'm not American. And um, I've always, always, always wanted to live in Seattle, Washington, but same thing with New York. And I also wanted to live in Washington, D.C. So yeah, that's a little bit about my life. And uh, I'm sorry I look like a hot mess, but that's what we're rolling with today. Also, I actually, I love this Tory Burch perfume. So if the bottle wasn't $138, I would buy it. 
And honestly, maybe that's a little by for graduation. So yeah, let's actually start packing. Ugh, I am all, I hate packing. I'm always packing. <laughs> Not complaining about trips though, but yeah, I just suck at packing. Ugh. After a break, I actually have to get shit started <laughs> basically I have to pack now and I'm kind of sad I'm gonna be leaving my cozy little place for quite some time actually love this candle by the way it's pomelo and pine it smells like Christmas but it's just so cute I finally have it the way I want it it's nice and cozy and now I have to leave um don't make it I can't, can't speak English. Don't make, I, wow, Brooklyn, English. Don't get me wrong. I am so, so, so excited to go home for the holidays and have a pretty break, pretty long break, like three weeks. Um, but a little over three weeks, actually. It's just, I don't know. I like being here. I like being home, too. I... I don't know. I, at least I get to travel. And like, I know I need the break. It's just, I feel like every time I have a break, I go home. So I never actually get to enjoy being in this, in this house. Um, which kind of sucks. But I'm going to have, uh, hopefully more time off in the new year. Um, I have a job interview tomorrow. I have a couple things maybe lined up for other work. But I'm not really worried for the first time. Um... I'll figure it out, and uh, if I don't, then, well, my bad. I'll have to. I'll get a job at the mall or something. Um, I don't really want to do that, but not that there's anything wrong with mall jobs. I um, just get really anxious around, like, retail work. I don't know. I... And just much more suited for like writing jobs and like management positions. Things where I don't necessarily have to like deal with money and customers like all the time. Um, being EVP and like getting to deal with people's problems and solve them. That like I really enjoyed that line of work. Um, which is why I think I might have a career in HR. <laughs> also my law professor told me I should look into that and I'm not kind of leave her now. So yeah, enough rambling. I need to find a suitcase and I need to start packing everything and then I need to pack the gifts. I may wrap them at home. I don't know. I kind of just... <sighs> I'm just really tired. I've been up late for weeks and uh, if I can just pack everything and then I have to go to the mall at 9.30 to give my friend her order and then I'm good to go. And I have a hair appointment Saturday and I don't know how I'm going to pay for it, so my credit card really hates me right now. 